tests for examination of the cervical spine. Here are a few clinical evaluation tests used to assess the cervical spine. Sperling's test. The Sperling's test is used to assess nerve root pain. The patient should be seated with the head turned towards the affected side and the clinician standing behind the patient. Downward compressive force to the top of the patient's head is applied. The test is positive when the compressive force being placed on the cervical spine causes radiating pain down the patient's arm. Laramide sign. It is also called Laramide's phenomenon. This is the sensation similar to electric shock that occurs when flexing or moving the neck. The sensation radiates down the spine, often into the legs, arms, and occasionally the trunk. Hoffman sign. The test is done by flicking the nail of the middle or ring finger to produce flexion of the index finger to the thumb. The presence of the reflex indicates an upper motor neuron lesion from spinal cord compression. Wide base gait. A wide base gait occurs due to myelopathy. This gait disturbance is described as clumsy, staggering movements. Look for associated compression of the cervical spinal cord. Here is a patient example of myelopathy with significant cervical spine disc compression of the spinal cord. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.